Hello guys, this is the 2024 Honda Civic Hatch EXL. There is four trims to choose on the Civic Hatch. There is the LX, Sport, EXL, and Touring. Today I'm going to be taking this EXL on EPUV test drive and see how it does. It is finished in platinum white and it does look pretty good. But let's go ahead and take this Civic Hatch EXL on EPUV test drive and see how it does. And just like that, this 2024 Honda Civic hatch is on. And this thing looks very good from the inside and out. It is the EXL trim. So it is one trim under the two ring trim. Today we're gonna to be taking the Civic hatch on a drive and see how it does. It is equipped with the 1.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine. Backup camera looks okay. I think Honda could improve it a little bit. Uh, three different angles, which is nice, but definitely the backup camera could be improved. I drove the Hyundai Elantra Limited, which is the highest trim, and the backup camera quality is much better than this uh, Civic. So Honda needs to fix a few things like that. Not a big fan of this seven inch screen for 28,000 and some change actually with 30,000 including uh, handling or uh, destination, um, seven inch screen is not acceptable. So driving this 2024 Honda Civic EXL. As I said, guys, it ha there's four trims you could choose from on the hatchback. There is the LX, Sport, EXL, and then Touring. The LX and uh, the Sport, they are equipped with the 2.0 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine and uh, the 1.5 uh, turbo is only on the EXL and uh, Touring. Interior looks very good. The seats are very, very comfortable, wrapped in leather in this EXL trim. There is one USB type A and 112 volt. I really wish that Honda gives us a USB, gave us a USB type uh, C. extremely smooth and comfortable Honda CVT transmission is amazing I'll talk about the engine and transmission when I hop on the highway suspension is very very comfortable I love those rims they have a nice design to them and uh, there is a good amount of rubber the size is 215 50 17 and uh, yeah overall um, this Civic hatch soaks up the bumps really really good climate controls look amazing dual climate controls Heated seats in this EXL trim and uh, there is a storage place right here. Uh, the touring trim will have a wireless um, CarPlay and wireless phone charger Steering wheel is wrapped in leather so we're gonna hop on the highway and we'll see how this Civic will do. There is two drive modes. There's Eco and Normal. But there is a Sport mode on the shifter. So this is technically Sport mode. This 1.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine is very responsive. There is barely any lag from the CVT and from this 1.5. This thing keeps pulling. 
Honda definitely does a great job with their CVT transmission. Their engines are nice and responsive. So this 1.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine in this Honda Civic is amazing. The car feels nice and planted on the highway doing 72 miles per hour. Tire noise is good. There is a little bit of wind noise and a little bit of road noise. So basically some noise coming from the tires into the cabin. But overall, definitely good. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in normal mode. So as I said guys, there's three drive modes, not two drive modes. There is eco, normal, and then sport. When you put it in sport, brakes become a little bit better the engine is nice and responsive transmission becomes a little bit more aggressive and steering wheel becomes a little bit heavy uh, Honda a Honda steering wheel is very good it has a nice weight to it it's direct and um, yeah overall it feels good and Honda cars in general and SUVs they handle very good steering wheel has a nice weight to it Visibility is amazing. The mirrors are nice and big. Sitting out of the back is perfect uh, since this is a hatch. And yeah, overall, such an amazing car. The price is definitely expensive for the features you get. Seven inch screen is not acceptable in 2024. Well, let's go ahead and talk about this engine. It is a beautiful 1.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine connected to a CVT transmission. It produces 188 horsepower and 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. And as I said, guys, it is a nice responsive 1.5. Steering wheel has a nice weight to it, even in normal mode. It is wrapped in leather. Brakes feel very good. Honda does a great job with the brakes. Um, it's such an amazing car. Um, there is the brightness control right here. Vents look amazing. This is nice and soft. There is the safety features, and then you'll have the traction control right there, too. Um, the climate controls look very good very easy to use and understand here are the the modes then there's an auto function with the e-sync func sync function since this is um, a dual climate control as i said guys suspension feels amazing very comfortable but i really wish that honda works on the noises that come from the tires into the cabin I think they should fix that but other than that this Civic is amazing a little bit more features would be nice an upgraded backup camera would be nice Honda gives uh, the safety features for basically free on all the trims you don't have to add any packages or anything like that so that's nice uh, there is a um, LCD uh, screen right there on the left maintenance seat belt driver attention speed and time range of fuel warnings um, I am getting 25 miles per gallon um, this car gets 31 in the city 39 highway and 35 combined those numbers are amazing the seats are very very comfortable and they're wrapped in leather it is a spacious sedan uh, the lug room in the back is actually very good um, but yeah, this right here is nice and soft. There's no plastic unlike the Hyundai Elantra, but Hyundai does offer more features. We're gonna hop on the highway again, and I'm gonna test all the safety features, Honda sensing features. So this car has all the nice safety features. It has <coughs> rear cross traffic, blind spot monitoring system, link keeping assist, Yeah, this 1.5 just keeps pulling or keeps accelerating. It's amazing. 
And of course, having a light car like this Civic helps a lot, helps this engine a lot. Let's go ahead and test the safety features. So as I said, guys, this car has um, uh, the uh, safety features, emergency braking, lane keeping assist, steering assist, blind spot monitoring system, and rear cross traffic. Honda system works amazing. Uh, the newer Honda sensing uh, system is better than the previous one. The previous one was good, but this is definitely better. And um, it includes traffic jam assist, so um, accelerating and uh, you know hitting the brakes. It's a little bit smoother than before. Let's go ahead and test the handling in this Civic. I wish it had some paddle shifters, but this one is the X, the EXL trim. <laughs> Definitely feels planted. Um, I could feel a um, little bit of body lean or just um, the tires not greedy because there is a good amount of sidewall on those tires again guys the size is 215 50 17 of course when there is less rubber it um, the car handles better less body lean and more control basically on turns so if you go for the touring trim you're going to get uh, both sound system wireless CarPlay and a wireless uh, charger a wireless phone charger but yeah overall I think the Civic is very good but I think that Honda should give us more features because this Civic hatch EXL is 30,000 with destination this platinum color is 455 so more features would be nice because the price is expensive for something like this this is only a Civic but overall it is nice and smooth controlling feels nice and solid even when accelerating on the highway the brakes have a really nice bite to them they're confident a ton of space in the trunk since it's a hatch and there is a lot of space uh, in the second row for a small car like this seating position is perfect seeing out of the car is amazing and uh, yeah overall it is such a beautiful car but honda needs to add a uh, few things uh, to make it basically worth that thirty thousand. it is actually very quiet in the cabin on the highway it's a little bit loud but not crazy loud not a big fan of this seven inch screen honda needs to get rid of it as soon as possible we are in 2024 or the, this car is 2024 so things like that have to go away um i like the physical buttons in the bottom the tune knob the volume knob that's nice the air vents look very good everything has a nice solid feel and right here there is two cup holders i love this textured plastic has a nice smooth and cool feel um, as i said there's a sport mode and uh, there is an l gear or low gear eco engine shut off e-brake brake hold right here there is a ton of space with a removable tray and the armrest is extremely soft as i said the leather feels nice and smooth very comfortable seats uh, up here there is led lights and there is a sunroof in this EXL trim just a standard size uh, sunroof but yeah overall I think the Civic is amazing it's beautiful drives good and definitely doesn't feel cheap I haven't uh, driven a Honda in a long time so this Civic definitely feels nice and solid compared to the Kias and the Hyundai's and the other car brands I drive but it is expensive and um, yeah, I really wish that Honda just offered a little bit more features uh, would be nice. Uh, having one USB is not cool. Having no USBs in the back is uh, something that Honda should add. So I definitely don't like that. There is 112 volt here, uh, which is fine. One is enough. Uh, but yeah, overall, 
it's such a beautiful car it gets great mpgs 39 mpgs on the highway um, a lot of space in the trunk as i said and a beautiful 1.5 turbocharged four cylinder engine but that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i would like to thank xavier and executive honda here in wallingford for providing me this uh, civic if you guys are around if you guys are interested make sure to come and check them out i'm going to go ahead and put their information a link in the bottom of this video and if you guys are interested in any car detailing products make sure to check out my website i'm going to go ahead and put my website link in the bottom of this video if you guys are interested in any microfiber towels tire shine tire cleaners um soap or anything like that make sure to uh, check out my website but that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did please like and subscribe because it does help a lot and as always i'll see you next time